live from News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. This is News 6 at 9. Good morning, I'm Eric Sandoval. And I'm Vanessa Ariza. Julie, Bridget, and Candace are all off today, so welcome. You get the... Christmas Eve. Hope everybody's ready for the big day tomorrow. Absolutely. Do you have all your shopping done? Oh, no, I just started yesterday. You did not. I did. I really did. I've been did. making fun of people all morning, and she's one... <laughs> I had no so idea. close. Are you done? No, you did all yours online. I did all of mine online, had it all shipped to my place, and it's all done. It's all wrapped. Did it this weekend. Oh, you're so wrapped. I'm wrapped. Mine... I, I, I needed to get it out of the way. Okay. Otherwise, it'd just be hanging Mine are over my still shoulder. in the bags with tags <laughs> underneath the tree. <laughs> so I'm an eclectic I'd have an kind of shopper. I know. Gosh. Come on over. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have amazing guests with us yeah, uh, on this Christmas Eve. We're very fortunate to have three different people, four actually come on Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. talk to us. One of them, uh, he's a musician. Talk, we don't have a white Christmas here. But white sand. White sand. So mm -hmm. he sings a little song with it. I actually was listening to it at my desk yeah. doing one of these. Oh, you know. Is that what you were doing? Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> <laughs> with my headphones on. So it's a great song. Love it. He's going to join us yeah. and uh, hopefully maybe sing a little bit for us. That's awesome. And we also have uh, some other guests too. You know, have you ever switched careers? Not yet. Or start, well, you started a new job, and you know yeah. it can be scary. This is a man who really started a brand new career as a wrestler at the age of 61, or 60 is mm -hmm. when, he, when he started. But the reason that he made that switch and how he actually found professional wrestling at, at such an age is really an amazing story. He and his son are gonna be here this morning to walk us through why he made the I switch to this. professional wrestling at the age of 60. So really He looks amazing. Yeah, I haven't seen him yet. Oh, just wait, okay. just wait. <laughs> All right. A nice surprise for you. <laughs> we have some news to tell you about first, though the uh, U.S. government is in partial shutdown this morning morning headed into the Christmas holiday, possibly into the new year as well. Now, at this point, there's still no solution over President Donald Trump's border wall demand. And at the same time, there was another departure from Mr. Trump's cabinet. Tom Hansen has the latest. Nina Cardona, News 6 at 9. What a neat story. And, you know, Carolina actually told us he has not met all of the recipients yet, but he, something he'd like to do. Could you imagine just being eye to eye and you have this invaluable thing in mm -hmm. your life saving in your plane and to think of the stories behind it yeah and, and actually he was saying it's sort of bittersweet too because you have one family over here who's really grieving the loss mm -hmm. of somebody but they're able to give this precious gift and then on the receiving end is a person who's so thankful to get it mm -hmm. Amazing work. Uh, uh, great story. Really amazing I love hearing work. about that. Well, at any age, it's common to find relief in a new hobby. And for one Florida man, he found relief and fame in the wrestling ring. <laughs> Coming up next, wrestling at an older age. We're going to talk with Joseph Saraceno and see why he wanted to turn pro at the age of 61. You're watching News 6, getting results for all of Central Florida on air and on the News 6 app. We'll be right back. I'm Hanson, CBS News, New York. Well, people in Indonesia, meantime, are starting to get a better picture of the destruction from Sunday's deadly tsunami that hit that area. Officials say more than 280 people were killed and at least 1,000 were injured. Dozens are still missing right now. This dramatic video, look at this, it shows the band 17 and concert goers caught by surprise as waves crashed through that venue. The lead singer who managed to survive after being sucked out to sea says four of his band members were killed. The tsunami is believed to have been caused by a volcanic eruption. It uh, did not trigger alert systems, which only detect earthquakes. President Trump tweeted his support for Indonesia, saying, quote, We are praying for recovery and healing. America is with you. Breaking news overnight. All right, we have a bomb scare to tell you about. Right in the middle of a busy Greyhound station, a man caught on camera, as you see here, screaming and yelling, claiming to have an explosive device. Now, that prompted police to clear out the bus station along John Young Parkway and call in the bomb squad. News 6 reporter Justin Campbell joins us live there this morning. And, Justin, all of this is coming as travelers try to get out for the holidays. Not something they needed for the holidays to start their week, but the good news, the situation is all the way clear. I'm outside in Osceola County as a Castro News 6. 
Ezzy, thank you. A crime alert to tell you about in Orange County this morning after a driver is carjacked while delivering a pizza. Investigators say the Papa John's worker was attacked by three men while making a delivery on Santa Barbara Road last night. Deputies say the men pepper sprayed and beat him before driving away in his car. Detectives did find that car, though, a short time later at an apartment complex, but no sign of the men there. If you know anything that could help them find them, call Orange County Sheriff's deputies. I'm Hanson, CBS News, New York. Now, President Trump continued to tweet over the weekend about the situation in Syria, saying late yesterday that Turkey's president told him he would get rid of whatever is left of ISIS. Well, happening today, a holiday tradition returns to the coast in just hours now. Hundreds of Santas are going to be hitting the waves to get results for those less fortunate. Now, uh, let's take a look at some video from last year's Surfing Santas event along Cocoa Beach. Hundreds of people are expected to hit the water around 10.30 this morning. And it seems Australia has even heard about this event. And once again, people in that country are challenging our Santas to see who can break a record for the number of surfers. Since the start of Surfing Santas, more than $90,000 has been raised for local charities. And that is one of my favorite events kicking off the holiday season. You really need to do it. It's awesome. What? Not get in the water. Just what? watch it. Why not? <laughs> they need more, right? <laughs> to break the record. $90,000. Right. Right. Okay, if it helps them break the record, I'll do it. There you go. He who says it's not chilly outside needs to get it's, in the cold water. It's too and, cold to water. And, but you know what he's cold. been saying? He said, it's really cold here in the studio. Yeah, it's it feels freezing. like outside. <laughs> it's warmer outside. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs>